In this video, we will discuss reaction of HCl with zinc metal, sodium carbonate, blue litmus, and the red litmus. So, first of all, take a test tube strand and just place four test tube in it. In each test tube, we will add dilute HCl. Now the first reaction is with the zinc metal. We will place a zinc metal in this HCl solution and we'll, we will observe the change. So when we add a zinc metal into HCl solution then reaction will take place and release of hydrogen gas will take place. So this is Zn plus HCl forming ZnCl2 and hydrogen gas is released in this case. You can observe the bubbles which are formed inside this test tube. Just see it carefully. So these are the hydrogen gas bubbles which are formed in the test tube. So the first reaction, reaction of zinc metal with dilute HCl produce the hydrogen gas. In the next experiment we will take the blue litmus and we will add this solution into HCl because HCl is an acid so it will turn blue litmus red. Now the next experiment is to add red litmus to the HCl. Now as we know this litmus will remain red in the acidic solution. If we take the base then it turns blue but since HCl is an acid so when we add red litmus into the acid it remains red which confirm that HCl is acidic in nature. So you can observe the color change here a red color form in this case which suggests that it is acidic in nature. Now the next reaction is reaction of sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3. So we add solid sodium carbonate into the dilute HCl then there will be an evolution of gas. Now this gas is obtained with a fizz sound. So this is a carbon dioxide gas which is released as soon as we add a solid sodium carbonate into it. So when we add solid sodium carbonate into it, it releases the carbon dioxide gas. So these are the four major reactions of dilute HCl with zinc metal, litmus and sodium carbonate.